and to the returning viewers i love you so much and thank you for keeping it lily's rams now sad news have gone viral of a young and promising queer lady that was allegedly killed by people due to her sexual orientation shayla lumumba the slain lady was at her home in Karatina when a group of six men broke into her home and committed the heinous act. It is alleged that the man, after murdering Sheila, raped her, gouged her eyes out and broke one of her legs. An autopsy done revealed that she died from a blunt force trauma in her head. Lesbianism is one of the most hated social evils in African societies. Some lesbians have also come out to defend their likes family by stating that it is their right to do what they want for this is a free nation the non-profit organization usikimi quotes her autopsy report as men broke into her house and gang raped her and father broke her leg before killing her the body was found in a pool of blood inside her house and friends became suspicious when she failed to report to work. A WhatsApp conversation between two friends of the late Sheila says her attackers gorged her eyes out and even used condoms in the sexual attack. She had also been hit with a blunt object on the head and partially dissipated. Our heart is beyond broken, says activist Njeri Megwe of the Usikimia NGO that has members of the queer community who majorly serve people outside their own community and dedicate their time, money, passion and resources to help anyone without caring about their orientation or identity. They also ensure that everyone is safe from harm, violence and that people stay alive. Highlighting that Sheila's killings points to a larger case as violence against women, Usikimia notes Kenya hates women and it manifests on how women are treated. We are having cases of women being sexually assaulted and killed every day. Is that the love we have for women? Activist Njeri Megwe noted that the queer community should be accorded safety and protection and have equal rights just as other human beings. Indeed, Sheila lives mattered. The murder has angered many Kenyans and it has attracted a lot of attention online. Many people have condemned the dreadful act on various online platforms. Indeed, Sheila's life mattered. She went through so much pain before her painful demise. Police are currently carrying out the investigations to serve her justice. We hope that she does not become another statistic and that justice will be served. Mishila, rest in peace. I have been your host, Lilies Rams. Please comment down below and let me know about what you think about this video. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you on the next video.